Also, if you are into beat making, you will have heard about Qubits. His samples are catchy and creative, and the thing that sticks out to me is the vintage and the tuned sound. So today we're going to make a crazy sample using some techniques that Qubits loves to use, and then we are going to add some fire drums on it. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that I want to do is set the BPM to 150, then maybe we can change it later. And I want to play a melody with this guitar. Actually, this is the second time that I play the guitar and to make some chords as you can see I recorded some notes individually so don't be scared to use a real instrument also if you don't know how to use them because you can make interesting things and later we're going to add a lot of effects on this so we can fix what's wrong so as you can see I consolidated this melody by clicking ctrl c and to quantize this melody right click here and go on uh, edit in time warper so now you can click ctrl q to quantize all the notes automatically and then we can go manually and fix when it's off time okay now you can click here and uh, drag it into the playlist Yeah, I like that because it's not perfect, but it will work for this type of beat. So this is the melody that I created with the guitar. And as you can see, we used a really common chord progression. And I play with these semitones to create a tension. And then I just copy these chords up to A. And we can use the same notes because they are in the scale. Okay, I like that, but now I want to add a counter melody on this. And then we can add some crazy effects. Yeah, let's record this. So now it should be on time, and this is how it sounds. So I like that, but it's time to add some crazy effects on this, because I wanted to recreate that dark and detuned sound. We just need to lower the high end. We can boost some of the mid. Now we can add some reverb on this. Let's add also some delay and I want to lower the volume a lot. I like that. The next thing that I want to add is Patcher. It's a free plugin inside of FL Studio. And I want to open the Humanizer preset. Then just going to play with the pitch variation. You can also make it more stereo. And this melody is also linked to a melody bus, where I have a stereo shaper to make the sound more wide with the stereoized tree preset. And I have also an EQ to cut the low one because we don't need them. Okay, so I like this melody, but it's a little bit boring, so we can pitch it up. Let's try to pitch it up to B. I want to make it faster, let's try to put it at 170 BPM. I like that. So now we can add uh, other counter melodies to make the sample sound more full. So let's use the flute one from my analog lab bank. But now I want to create a simple melody but catchy that is easy to remember. It's crazy. Okay, I really like that. On that, I just have an EQ to make sure that this flute has its own space in the frequency spectrum. And this preset has already a lot of effects, so there is no need to add more. But I would add something like a bell. Yeah, the bell one could work. I want to add some reverb on this. Uh, something like this could work. Now we can pitch this up to E following the guitar. Now I know this melody is a little bit messy, but I did this on purpose because now I want to add half time on this. Okay, I like that, but I want to give to it a texture feeling, so I'm going to use Portal for this. Let's try to use this preset. But I want to pitch it up one octave. Yeah, let's render this, let's see how it sounds. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that because it's filling the sample. So let's keep it. Another thing that uh, we could add is acquire. Let's use the one from my analog lab bank because I have an idea for this. Okay, I like this, but I want to add some reverb on it. Okay, something like this could work, and then I want to render this, picking Ctrl Alt C, and I want to try to mess with the format. So I'm going to click Stretch Pro and move this knob up, and it's going to sound more pitched up. I like that. Okay, I like that, but I want to add an energetic texture that is going to be the main focus on the hook. So I want to try to use a bell. Let's try the bell 4. And I want to follow the progression that we used for the guitar. On this I want to add the portal again. So let's try to find a preset that I like. Something like this could work. And let's try to pitch it down one octave. Okay, I really like that. I think uh, I think it's a good sample. And now I'm going to arrange it and show you some other tricks uh, that we can use to make it even harder. So right now I'm going to render the sample so we can add some effects on this. And then I will upload it and you will find the link to download it for free in the comments. Let's try to pitch it up. Okay, I like it more, then maybe you can change it later. But right now I want to add some effects also on the final sample. So let's try to add an EQ. And I want to add again this preset from Patcher. Now we could change the whole sample and add a lot of effects, but I want to add the gross beat on this. Oh, I like this preset. That's crazy. So let's add some drums on this. But before I wanted to tell you that I couldn't make this beat without the cryptic multi kit. And for Black Friday, the kit is heavily discounted on my website. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. But the discount will end on the 1st of December, so don't miss out. But now let's finish this beat. Let's start with a clap. Let's try this ayat. But we want to add some rows on these ayats to create a bounce. So I'm going here and select one tour step. And I'm just going to add some rows before the clap or after. Okay, now I just want to copy it. And I'm going to click Alt R to randomize the pan and the velocity. But I want to move also the pitch knob. So every single hit is going to sound slightly different. Now let's use the spins again. That's insane. Now let's add some heads, and with this I want to follow the 808. Let's add also snare. Here at the end we can make a roll, but I want to make a quick one. That's crazy. It's crazy. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, remember to drop a sub, like and comment, and check out this video now to make beats for another week. 